Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video and uh, I want to start a new little series of videos about collaging. I really like collaging, that's one of my favorite things to do, so uh, I decided to make a few videos uh, with some tips that maybe will help you to start collaging or to learn something new. And in this video I wanted to show you how exactly I started collaging and what I did, how I searched for my own style in collaging. And for creating uh, my collage I will use this uh, little pocket journal that you can see in the videos about my uh, pocket junk journal. And what I'm going to do today is to show how I started to make collages and what exactly I did uh, to learn collaging and uh, for my very first collages I used inspiration mostly from Instagram. I just made uh, screenshots of pictures with collages that I liked and used those pictures uh, as inspiration. Basically I was trying to make something similar. Uh, and uh, I don't think that it's kind of copying someone's work because anyway it will be different. Even if you will try really hard to make uh, something uh, very similar still it will be different because we all have different materials. But I think it's really good to use collages uh, that you like for inspiration. It will help you to understand uh, how exactly to uh, layer things and what you like what you don't like, what works for you and uh, that will help you to find your own style and that's how I started. So I just uh, made screenshots of pictures that I liked and tried to do something similar. And that's actually what I'm going to do today. And uh, as an inspiration, I will use my own collage from uh, my very first junk journal. And if I remember correctly, this collage even was the first one in this journal or at least one of the first ones for sure. And uh, when I did this collage, I used some uh, picture that I found on Instagram as an inspiration and tried to make something similar. But uh, of course it turned out to be different anyway. For my collage today I found a few papers that I want to use. It's a few similar papers that I have here and as a focal point I have here these birds. I also want to use a bird. Of course a different bird you are trying to make uh, a similar collage that you saw and that you like, you can use all the things that you have and uh, don't search for something exactly the same. So I have here a few papers on the background, uh, some something with text and this kind of music paper and also few st a few stickers with numbers and a stamp and some washi tape. So I will try to make something similar or rather to use this collage and as an inspiration and to show you a bit how, how you can do that. So um, I chose the same background as uh, here. There I also have a background uh, with a book page. So I found a page in my journal with a book page. Uh, here I have a big piece of uh, music paper or some kind of music paper, but uh, now I don't have nothing like that. I just found this one, but I think this paper is too dark, so I will use something else. I, will, I just will use this piece of paper that's a coffee dyed paper from some notebook. Uh, then also I have there on top uh, some uh, sticker, I guess with, with some text, with some writing. So I also will take something similar. I will take this piece of paper and it's just a piece from some printable also with text and I put it on top. The main idea of this is to choose colors that work with each other well. And also I have there some kind of ticket or something like that. So I found something kind of similar, this um, ticket or receipt. 
Um, and I think this colors work really nice with this bird that I have here. So now I will glue down uh, these papers that I have here. And as I said, the main idea that colors work well together, that you like how it looks together. And of course, papers don't have exactly the same. You can just use what you have. So my background is kind of ready. Now I will cut out this cute bird that I have. I cut it out with a with a white edge. Uh, there, I don't have that white edge, uh, but uh, now I would like to have this bird with with a white edge. You of course, or you also can ink it up. But I think I will leave it like this. And now I will choose a few tickets. I have there uh, some kind of ticket uh, sticker uh, on the bottom and also some sticker with numbers mm, next to my birds. So I found few similar, uh, similar tickets and I want to choose one of these. I think this one will go on top. And on the bottom, I will leave uh, this one with 50 cents. On my other collage, I have the uh, numbers on the other side of my collage, but uh, on this collage, my bird will look to other direction. So I want to have that uh, ticket with numbers behind, uh, behind the bird, behind the back of my bird, uh, just exactly like I have there. Okay, like like this, and now I will, will glue down my bird. And I think it already looks nice, and you even can leave it like this. But I have there a few more details. So I have a stamp there, and I will use this uh, stamp this printed stamp that's the same uh, that's the part of the same printout that I have and there on the background uh, just printed uh, stamp so I think I will use this one I think it looks nice uh, of course you can use a real stamp Then let's see what else I have on my collage. I also have uh, this uh, sentiment here and also some lace on top. But uh, first I will add a washi tape and I still have the same washi tape, only a very little bit left. So I decided why not to use it again. I will use then the same washi tape. But again, just on the other side of the page, because my bird is looking on other direction, so I think it will look better on the other side of the page. And also I will add a small piece on top, like there. And now a sentiment. I will use this one, uh, that's a stamp that I have, I stamped it on a coffee dyed paper and I will put it here on the bottom. And then also on top of my page I have a piece of uh, self-adhesive lace, but now somehow I can't find any lace like this that fits there. So I will use this uh, piece of 
paper doily. It looks a bit like lace, not exactly, but I'm not trying to make the same collage, just something similar. I will add there on top this piece of paper doily. And now I just will put this washi tape over doily like this. It looks better. And I think that's all. My collage is ready. And as you can see, it's kind of similar uh, in a way, but still different because I used different things. I just used this collage for inspiration to see what I can use, like for example, these tickets. So this collage is ready and uh, I hope it was helpful for you and gave you an idea how you can start collaging. I, I think it's really helpful in the beginning to use uh, some collages that you like from other people as an inspiration. Uh, like that you can uh, get some idea how to how you can layer things and also which things you can use for your collages which things work for you and which not you can also try different styles because everyone has own style and you can try to make uh, different collages and to see what works better for you and what you like more and you will notice that very, very soon you already won't need these pictures um, of uh, someone's collages for inspiration. You will find out really fast what you like and uh, how you like to make your collages and things like this. You can find your own style, uh, trying different things. Uh, if you want, you can uh, use this collage for your inspiration and if you will do that i will be very happy to see your pictures so you can tag me on instagram on your pictures uh, i will be happy to see your collages and let me know if you would like me to go on with this collaging videos also let me know if you would like to see my first collages like really very very first collages mm, i can try to find some of them and show you how I started. Let me know if that also would be interesting for you. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye!